A new vaccine technology is giving the idea of a dementia vaccine new potential. Alzheimer's disease and frontotemporal dementia are devastating disorders following the buildup of misfolded proteins in the brain. Can you go back to the this is where Wash U's Jay Rodra steps in. He's an associate professor of biomedical engineering at the McKelvey School of Engineering. The targeted proteins are amyloid beta and tau. The vaccines would generate anti-amyloid beta and anti-tau antibodies 10 to 15 nanometers. using Rajra's vaccine platform of peptide nanofibers. Using nanomaterials as vaccine agents. The platform itself has proven effective in multiple disease models. We've tested vaccines against tuberculosis, herpes, we've even um, did some cocaine-based vaccines uh, to see if we can make antibodies against drugs of addiction. Um, we've done HIV and a few other models. So the platform as a whole seems to be very broadly effective in multiple disease settings. And this is the first time we're attempting to address the question of whether we can get antibodies against neurodegenerative diseases. In particularly this time, we're testing about Alzheimer's to see whether we can make antibodies against proteins that cause Alzheimer's so that we can prevent the onset or delay the onset. The idea has an interest receiving a $2.9 million grant from the National Institute on Aging, part of the National Institutes of Health. Radra partnered with Meredith Jackrell, Associate Professor of Chemistry at Washington University. We study protein folding and misfolding, and so we're really interested in understanding how proteins misfold at the biochemical and biophysical level, and then how that misfolding drives different neurodegenerative diseases. The research team says in particular, having an effective and safe vaccine for Alzheimer's disease is gaining importance. Recent Alzheimer's drugs have not had the results the science community had hoped. So, Radra and Jackrell are designing vaccines that will train the person's own immune system to take out the accumulations of amyloid beta and tau proteins. The nanofiber serves as a carrier to take the protein in, stimulate the immune system, and have the immune system make an antibody to that protein of interest that you're delivering with the nanofibers. So the nanofibers are a delivery vehicle to any protein that you want to put into an animal uh, to test whether the vaccine is efficacious or not. So in our lab, we basically want to compare Alzheimer's disease proteins to our nanofiber fusions. If we add our tau amyloid fibers, we'll see when we add those to cells, they get taken up by the cells and cause more aggregation, and that causes a fluorescent signal that we can read. Our hope is, is that when we take our um, nanofiber vaccine materials, and we add those, we can confirm that if they are showing a, a proper effect in our animal system, that they don't trigger Alzheimer's proteins to aggregate in our cell line, so we would see no fluorescence. The key to their success, the vaccine design, will not cause the inflammation that happens with other types of vaccines. Any vaccine that's administered is mixed in with an adjuvant, and adjuvants are compounds that stimulate the immune system to cause a little inflammation, and that will prompt the immune cells to make protective antibodies and T cells. So what ends up happening, neuroinflammation in neurodegenerative patients is common. So their brains are already inflamed because there is some level of pathology ongoing. In patients like that, when you use adjuvants that actually cause more inflammation, the vaccine is not very effective. The use of these nanofibers is partly due to the fact that in the many models that we've tested, the nanofibers seem to generate an antibody response without the associated inflammation. The amyloid beta and tau proteins are presented on the surface of the nanofiber in a way that the immune system will not generate as much inflammation. Just got funded, so we are still beginning, so it's just this first year. We are hoping to make strides. By the end of year two or three, we might have something that we can test in, in animals.